back at Farmer Pat here. Today I'm in Miramar and I'm at my friends um, backyard farmer Ellis and backyard farmer Jackie. We are in their backyard. Jackie and I have been friends since kindergarten and I just absolutely love her backyard. She has one of the biggest backyards that I know of in South Florida. It's about a, a third acre which is massive but in South Florida standards. So I just want to take you through the garden and show you what she has. She has a lot of really wonderful exotics that is not in the average Jamaican backyard. So come with, come with me. So over this area, they have a lot of different potted plants. They have red limes. You said red limes? Yeah. They have red limes right here. They, they look yellow, but I assume that inside it's red. They have a cocktail tree with key lime and mar um, lemon. But the, and of course, a lot of turmeric throughout the garden. But the trees that I want to show you are more towards the back. So, Ellis, tell me, what is this tree? Apple. Asian oh, apple. Asian, Asian apple. apple. Oh, Asian apple. So it's different from the OTE apple? Yeah. Okay, an Asian apple. But you said this one doesn't actually bear, right? No. Yeah. Okay, all right. And then over here, I know that this is your daughter Lauren's garden. She has, she's a budding gardener. She has our turmeric and our ginger and a lot of other things that she's growing over here. And then over here, this tree is actually called the Jamaica cherry tree. But this is not the tree that we have in Jamaica. So Jackie, there's another name you said for this tree. Is it a strawberry tree? Strawberry tree. Strawberry tree. So if you see the fruit here, you can come a little closer, you can see the fruit. And let me see what it tastes like. So this is not a Jamaican cherry tree. What we have in Jamaica is called, um, is really known as Barbados cherries. But the Barbados cherries is what we eat in Jamaica. This one is called Jamaican cherry tree and it's not what we eat in Jamaica. But let me try it. Mmm, it's very, very good though. I would say it tastes like a, it's like a cotton candy, mm -hmm. like a cotton candy flavor. It's like a mild strawberry cotton candy flavor. Let me try another one, just to make sure I tasted it right. Mmm, it is very good though. It is very good. All right, so as we go through, I'm, I did some air. Oh, and I won't take any more because <laughs> I know it's not a lot on there. No, you can take but, a lot. Oh my gosh, is that so good? So I may have to do another earlier. So I did an earlier a few weeks ago, and. Unfortunately, somehow it must have been very windy. A lot of my ear layers actually blew, blew off. So I'm going to do another ear layer of this tree because this is going to be fabulous in my new half acre property in Palm Bay. Like right here is the ear layer I did of the OTE apple tree. And as you guys know, OTE is one of my favorite fruits in, of all times. It's one of the absolute best Jamaican um, fruits. So I don't know how long ago it blew off but I just cut this off today. You can see it had started to swell. So this is where I, I did the earlier for the Oti Eater apple. And I can see some very fine roots had started and you can always know when the earlier is good, when the base starts swelling. So it already started swelling. So I'm gonna actually take this home. I'm gonna take all the leaves off, probably cut by the branches and see if I can still um, get this to survive. And hopefully it will work. But what I'll do is at the end of the video, I'll do another earlier of the strawberry tree and another ear layer of the OTE apple. I already checked on my ear layer of the strawberry tree and that also fell off. So I'm gonna have to do a new ear layer. So this is also a very, 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 very special Jamaican tree. Mm, this is absolutely wonderful. This is a pimenta tree. Um, a lot of you guys who, who have been to Jamaica and you eat your jerk chicken, or every good jerk person likes to use pimento wood on the grill. Pimento wood adds a tremendous amount of flavor. I mean, it, that's what the secret sauce is in Jamaica. When you go to a Jamaican pit, the reason it tastes different is because of this wood. So even the leaves can be used. Um, the last time I saw, I actually chopped off a bunch of leaves and some little branches. And my husband was using it on his jerk pit for like weeks. And it's, it's really, really a wonderful wood. So this is another one that I did earlier on. And it also fell off, so I don't know what's going on. But my ear layers, I'm losing a lot of my ear layers. So here is where I did the ear layer. And I just checked on it a little while ago. It was, this, this whole foil was on the ground and everything that I had, and I, but I checked and I don't, I don't see any roots forming. So I'm gonna just close it back up and probably get another fresh piece of foil to wrap around it. The soil is damp. I just closed it back up. I'm going to get some more foil. It's still green, so it's still alive, so there's still hope. So I'm going to 
reinforce it with another piece of um, foil and then check back in a, maybe another month or so. All right, so that's our pimento tree. And right beside it, what kind of mango is this? Oh. A Glen mango. Okay. How oh, is the Glen mango? Good? Yeah, it's a meaty, not fibrous. Nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And what's this one? This is Jackie. a avocado. Oh, it's an avocado. Okay. Good. And it looks young, so I guess you haven't got an avocado yet. Right. So yeah. two avocados? Uh, no, that, that one's Jackie. What's that one? It's all with Jackie. Jackie? What? Oh, you have jackfruit. Awesome. So jackfruit is another one of my favorites. Jackfruit is actually one of a, a fruit that is actually eaten all across the world. In some poor countries, they use jackfruit. And not even just poor countries, right here in America now. Um, a lot of the fancy vegan restaurants, they make curry, curry jackfruit and jerk jackfruit. And, you know, a lot of vegans love the jackfruit. It's, it's packed with nutrients. It's very meaty when it's cooked green. And I love it ripe. It's extremely sweet, extremely delicious. I love the texture. Jackfruit is definitely another one of my favorites. Jackfruit trees can get extremely large and the fruit, the fruit can weigh like 20, 30, 40 pounds. Right. The fruit grows directly from the trunk. So this one has a ways to go. It has to get a lot thicker and, and higher before the jackfruit, it forms jackfruit. But as I said, Jackie has a lot of exotic fruits that you don't see in the average backyard. And jackfruit is definitely one of them. And the seeds can be eaten too. Oh, and the seeds can be eaten too? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they probably have a lot of nutritional value. Mm -hmm. All right. So here you have the coconut trees. And, and this is also another favorite of Jamaica. This is the OTET apple tree. And it's looking extremely healthy. Look at these leaves. Um, this is the one that I did the earlier from. That looked like it actually was taken, but then it fell off. So I'm gonna have to do a fresh air layer and hopefully nothing will knock it off this time and it will grow. And if you come in here, come a little closer. When you look up, the OTE to have a, apple has some of the most beautiful flowers. If you look straight up here, you see those spectacular pink flowers and you see all those little things on the side, those are actually apples. So just on one stalk, there are probably 20 something apples on one stalk. And before you know it, in another few weeks, this tree is going to be covered with the pink flowers. It's spectacular flowers and absolutely delicious fruits. All right, so let's see. Uh, oh, Ellis, I see a nice little coconut there. Whose coconut is that? Yours. <laughs> ah, thank you. No, I, but really though, I do need a coconut because I have one coconut right now for the new new property. And I was like thinking I need an, a second coconut. So thank you very much. Can I really have it? Yes. You're not just saying it? Okay, good, good. <laughs> Wonderful. So I have a, a coconut. Are the coconuts good? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Because I want to make sure I get good coconuts. Yeah, very good. Okay, good. No, well, no. You, you can turn on the tree and, and try it out. No, I'm going to get my coconut right now. Uh -oh. It may be in the ground. Alright, so I definitely will come back for that coconut because... Well, we can try them out. You tell them what to think. Oh my look, goodness. Look, look at it. Zoom so, you in know, on those coconuts. Wow, and it's from the same coconuts? Yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. You so, I know it takes many years to get that big, but oh my goodness, I'm looking forward to having those coconuts. And the tree so erect, you know, it's so beautiful. And have your bananas, you have your bananas, more coconuts. Wow, the garden is so beautiful. And you have the palm tree. And then here is your, is this red coat or yellow coat? Uh, red coat, right? No, this is yellow coat. Yellow, co yellow coat? Yeah, yellow coat. Okay. So this is um, yellow coat palm, palm tree. This is another tree that I've, I've had it in my previous videos. I actually have a yellow coat, um, some yellow coat from cousin. This tree is extremely easy to just break a branch, stick it in the ground, mm -hmm. and it grows. And yellow coat, again, is another Jamaican favorite. We have the red coat plums and yellow coat. Yellow coat is a little bit more popular. It's a small plum, like about this size, with maybe with a very large seed. Does have a lot of meat, but a flavor, a lot of flesh, but the flavor is like extremely good. All right, and then right beside it, right past her banana grove, is another Jamaican favorite. And um, you guys can go back and check my video on the Barbados cherry. So this is what we call, this is what Jamaicans call ch Jamaican cherries, right? But they're really the proper botanical name is Barbados cherry. Right. So this is what we eat in Jamaica. I don't see any cherries on the tree right now. 
But I mean, yeah. ever since I was a little child, I grew up eating cherries. Like I, I grew up eating cherries and even I was an adult, wherever I live, I have to have a cherry tree because they, it bear, bears almost year round. Mm -hmm. It bears several times a year. You can wake up in the morning and from fruit, from flower to fruit, it might be like a week or two weeks. So you can walk out like every morning and get your, your little bowl of cherries. One, what, for pound for pound, Jamaican cherries are 70 times more um, vitamin C than, than um, oranges. So it's extremely um, high in vitamin C. It's packed in antioxidants. It has a ton of antioxidants and a, a ton of properties in it. Right. So this is a Jamaican cherry. Let me see if I see any on there. I don't see a any A month right ago now. they, huh? about a month ago they had cherries on there. Right? Okay, so a month ago they had cherries, but none right I now. I see some blossoming coming in there. Okay. And the blossoms are also very beautiful. It has really nice pink blossoms. So mm -hmm. once it starts blossoming, it's really a pretty tree. And right beside it, we have cassava, which of course you guys know, cassava is known across the world. It's a really good earth, earth um, ground provision. Cassava grows underground from the root. So you see how wide this cassava tree is and how big it is? It probably has full, it probably has some massive cassava underneath yeah. there. When you plan on harvesting, <laughs> Honey, you're gonna have harvest soon. <laughs> yeah, well, don't forget me. Okay. When you start harvesting, you're gonna get a ton of cassava because this is a really big tree with a little papaya in the middle. All right, then over here, oh, more cassava. You have a lot of cassava, lots of cassava. All right, let's see what else you have. So, over here is her sweet sap tree, right? Yep. Your sweet sap, yeah. your sweet sap. But this one, I think, is this the one that's like a red sweet sap? Purple, purple, purple sweet sap. Okay, mm -hmm. so here, Jamaica, Jamaica sweet sap is also not a very popular um, food in Jamaica. Most of the ones we see in Jamaica are ninety-nine percent of the times is a green skin, but this is a purple sweet um, purple sweet sap. So very good. And I know I had one. He gave me one last year, yes. and it was really delicious. Mm -hmm. It didn't bear profusely, but the few yeah. that the two or three that you had, my friend actually shared one of the two or three. So that's, that's what you call a true friend. And right beside it is pomegranate, or the proper way to say it is pomegranate, <laughs> right? So these are pomegranates, you know, for, um, Thanksgiving is coming up, you see all these pomegranates on people's Thanksgiving tables mm -hmm. and pumpkins. I don't see any food on here, but this is a pom um, pom uh, pomegranate tree. Maybe next year it will give us some food, but we got about half a dozen healthy. this year. Huh? About half a dozen this year. Oh, you got a half a dozen? Oh, great, great. Great, it looks very healthy. You can tell the leaves are very healthy. Yeah. It's mixed in with some other ornamentals, but it looks really healthy. And here you have a loquat, and I see it's beginning to blossom. Mm -hmm. Is this the first year? Uh, we got, yeah. yeah, first year. Nice, very oh, nice. Tom, a few on it. You got a few on it already? Yeah. Oh good, so it's, it bears pretty small then because it already has the blossoms. That's mm -hmm. great, and it already had fruit. And over here is, you told me, your mountain sour sap. No, this is no. regular sour Oh, this is aki. No, this is sour sap. This is regular sour sap? That okay. one is mountain sour sap. Ah, okay. So this is a regular sour sap. Yes. The regular sour sap tree. Yeah. And you guys know sour sap is now looked at all over the world in, in Mayo Clinic and all of these cancer centers. Yes. Because there are healing properties. It's not just Jamaican folklore, but actually a lot of the Mayo clinics and a lot of these big clinics mm -hmm. are now treating people using mm -hmm. the sour salt leaves because it has anti-cancer um, fighting properties. So right. your tree looks really, really healthy. Yes. I know it's going to get big and you're going to soon have lots of fruit. The new one. Huh? New tree. And then, the, and then now this is the mountain sour salt, which I never heard of before until I think I heard about it maybe a month ago is the first time. So your mountain sour sap, and I guess you'll tell me how. Have you ever tasted it? I've tasted it at the fruit and spice part. But yeah. How was it compared to sour sap? Um, it's not as tart. Oh, okay. As the sour sap. But it tastes good. It's like a mix between the sweet sap and sour Really? Sour. So yes. it should be good then. Yeah. Nice, nice, very nice. So, ah, it's good to have friends that have all these exotic things that I can try. And this is her volunteer papaya. So she didn't even plant this. They planted the sour sap, and obviously a papaya seed fell in here. And you guys know, know I always taught um, the properties of, of, of papaya because not only the leaves have a, a property called papine, which is extremely good. It, it treats worms, it treats dengue fever. It, you know, it's, it's incredible. Really? And but the, yeah, but the fruits and the seeds, everything on here can be eaten. The, the leaves, the fruit, the seeds. 
but you have to eat it in very very small portions and you have to know what you're doing before you eat them but the papaya is an extremely wonderful treat to have not only does it always have food you can eat the when it's green like this you can actually peel it and use it instead of chocho oh, or really? chayote squash you can actually cook it in soup you can put it in salad really really good like green papaya yeah green papaya salad that's a very very big asian dish and then here's another plum tree this is a plum tree yes. all right what which what kind the same one the, the yellow the same yellow coat mm -hmm. all right and then you have your birds of paradise and your lovely bananas here absolutely lovely bananas yeah. and your aki tree right beside it every every proper jamaican person has to have an aki tree and a See, you have your acne. Look, like it had some damage, but it's doing well. Yes. And you have your dra dragon really? fruit taking it over. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then this tree, I think it's an extremely special tree. You have tuna on that side, you have your dragon fruit. But this tree blew my mind. So I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to tell me what this tree is. But oh, this tree, all right. Growing up as a child in Jamaica, you have a fever. And your mother takes this little bottle out, clear bottle with yellow liquid and a blue label and she puts some in her hand and she sops it on your head and sops it on your chest mm -hmm. and you feel better. Mm -hmm. So this tree, I didn't even know this came from a tree. This is a bay rum tree. Incredible. So only Jackie could have a bay rum tree. So this is actually the tree that they make bay rum from. I always thought bay rum was like a chemical thing, mm -hmm. but it actually comes from a tree. So Jackie has a bay rum tree. And it smells, when you smell, when you smell a leaf, it smells exactly like you opened a bottle of beer rum. And I have a cut, I have an um, air layer from here. I haven't checked this air layer yet. I'm gonna check on my air layer to see how it did. And her tuna is popping, it's flowering, about the flower. This one doesn't give food. This one is just flowers, right? No, it gets food. It, you get food on here too? Yes. Have you ever eaten it? No. Why? Don't know how. Oh, Google, Google is everything. Whenever you have a proper fruit, let me know and I'll come and be happy to te test oh. it for you. What's the difference between that one and this one? Dragon that dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Okay. Right. And, and you've eaten the dragon good. fruit though, right? Yes. Okay, yes, I've yes. had the dragon fruit. I've never had a fruit from the tuna. I know it has a beautiful flower, but I've never had a fruit. Right. So I'll absolutely be a guinea pig. This is also known as shampoo tuna. You can actually slice it open and you can wash your hair. It's very, very good for the hair. It strengthens, strengthens the hair. This is very, very good for your hair. Huh? You can eat that. Yeah, you can, you can wash your hair with it. Alright, so let me check my air layer. If it's still here because all the other air layers got damaged. Oh, another thing is, this is Leaf of Life. Yeah. And I see you have it all over. Mm -hmm. This, if it drops, it will take over your garden, but it's good that you have it in pots. It's very, very good for you. It's good for congestion and lung issues and mucus it's really good for that mm -hmm. but if it it will take over your garden so it's good that you have it in a pot and i see some already escaped yes. you have some over here all right so let's check on my air layer and it looks like it was also falling apart but it's this is the only air layer that made it so far every other one got ripped up i don't know why but let's see how this is doing my bay rum this so this bay rum i promised it to my agent my realtor Carl who has three acres and he has shared a ton of his trees with me oh it's dried out wow but look at this you see all these are oh my gosh a million ants so it dried out but oops oh lord hold on let me get it let me get it in here oh when I checked on here, it, I did I did see some fine um, roots coming, but unfortunately, this fell off. But when I looked in here, I can see where the roots had actually started forming, but it's completely, look at that, you can see where roots actually started forming, but it completely dried out. But I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna try and get some moist soil. I'm gonna put it directly in the foil and hope that this works. It's still alive. This is a branch. It's still very much alive. And you can see some fine roots that are starting on here. Look at that. You can see the roots that are starting those hair-like things. And you can come closer. Those are actually roots that are forming. So this one is for my realtor Carl. And I wanna, he was such an awesome realtor. I wanna make sure I get this for him. So I'm gonna wrap it again. Make sure I cover it with foil. I'm gonna wrap the foil around it. 
squeeze the bottom so it stays moist. Squeeze the top. I am not doing anything fancy with it this time. Just putting some soil in it and wrapping it. And I'm actually using, I think that is coconut core. It's some, I'm one of those crazy people that keep soil in her trunk. So this is some soil I had in my trunk and a piece of foil. All right, so that's it. So that is the garden. I wanna thank Farmer Ellis and Farmer Jackie again to allow us to tour their garden. See some more bananas over there, but you know, it's absolutely lovely. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this video with a friend. Also, I do post a lot more videos on Instagram and pictures, so don't, don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm also back at Farmer Pat. Till next time, bye now.